80% of internet users in the United States have searched for health information online. This form of information seeking not only makes people feel informed, but also empowered. In fact, leading healthcare institutions are championing this shift. They support patients taking on a more active role and increasingly call for patient empowerment. However, most do not take into account the labor inherent in this shift. In order to best support all patients, we must understand and characterize the information work they carry out during the empowerment process. Using data gathered from a variety of sources, including home visits, observations, interviews, and comments posted online, a comprehensive framework of information labor was developed. This study, part of a larger project called Interactive Search and Information Use Tactics of Patients with Chronic Illness, was conducted by Caitlin Costello, an assistant professor in Library and Information Science at the Rutgers School of Communication and Information. Patients undergo three distinct types of information labor when interacting with health information. Cognitive labor, keeping track of symptoms, making assessments of credibility and relevance, and using information to make decisions. Emotional labor, sharing information with healthcare providers, communicating in a way that does not call doctor's expertise into question, managing emotions in tense conversations. And physical labor, typing or dictating search terms and data, sitting at a computer and looking at a screen, navigating menus and clicking on buttons or links. As one participant says, it's a lot of work. It's a part-time job. This research adds to our growing understanding of patient empowerment. Healthcare institutions must take these experiences into account as they push patients to become empowered. The study was funded by a Rutgers School of Communication and Information grant for individual faculty research. For more information, visit Professor Caitlin Costello online. <laughs>